Have you ever wondered what fish live well with betta fish? Are you looking for betta fish community tank inspiration? Then you've come to the right place. I have compiled a list of the top 10 tank mates for betta fish community tanks. These tank mates are sure to add color, activity, and excitement to your tank. Betta fish are known for their vibrant colors and flowing fins, and while they are often kept alone, they can actually live happily with other fish. In this video, we'll explore the best tank mates for betta fish and how to create a healthy community tank. So, without further delay, let's dive into our list of the top 10 tank mates for betta fish community tanks. Number 10, Neon and Amber Tetras. Neon Tetras are relatively small, growing only to about 1 to 2 inches in length. This makes them an excellent choice for small betta fish tanks. You'll also have a lot of action and interest in your tank because they love swimming in schools. They should be kept in schools of at least 6 to ensure they feel secure, and they prefer a well-planted tank with plenty of hiding spots and caves to retreat to when they feel threatened. They also require a well-maintained tank with stable water parameters to thrive. Overall, if you're looking for a peaceful and colorful tank mate for your betta fish, Neon Tetras can be an excellent choice. Another option is Ember Tetras. Ember Tetras are similar to betta fish in that they also prefer heavily planted tanks and enjoy eating brine shrimp. They are also compatible with Neon Tetras and will even school with them in the middle of the tank. This helps to reduce any territorial issues that may arise with your betta fish. Ember Tetras can live for up to four years, which makes them great for community tanks. They are surface feeders, just like betta fish, making it easy and convenient to feed them both at the same time. While many tetras can coexist peacefully with betta fish, some species should be avoided, including serpe tetras, black skirt tetras, and silvertip tetras. Number 9, Corridoras catfish. Corridoras catfish are a popular choice for betta fish aquariums because they are peaceful and won't compete with your betta fish for food or territory. They are also bottom-dwelling fish that help keep your tank clean by eating any leftover food. In addition, Corridoras catfish are known for their playful and active behavior. They come in a variety of colors and patterns, which can also add visual interest. However, they should be kept in groups of at least three to prevent stress. In addition, they require a sandy substrate in the tank to prevent damage to their sensitive barbels. Additionally, they prefer a well-planted tank with plenty of hiding spots and caves to retreat to when they feel threatened. If you want to be extra cautious, you may want to consider Pygmy Corridoras, which are dull in color and only grow up to one inch which is better choice against betta fish. Number 8, Cooley Loaches. Cooley Loaches are peaceful, look amazing, and are helpful for cleaning up uneaten food from the bottom of the tank. Cooley Loaches are nocturnal, which means they are most active during the night when your betta fish is sleeping. They have a docile temperament and will get along well with your betta fish. They are shaped like eels and love to disappear into tiny crevices, which can add some interest and movement to your tank. Keep them happy with at least 20 gallons of water, and sand is their favorite substrate since they burrow deep. It's important to note that other loaches, such as the clown loach, can grow over a foot in length and should be avoided in a betta fish tank. Some other suitable loach options to consider are hill stream loaches, zebra loaches, and dwarf loaches. Hillstream loaches are often found in fast-moving streams and prefer well-oxygenated water, so they may need a current or air pump in the tank. Zebra loaches are known for their distinctive black and white stripes, and they are active swimmers that enjoy hiding in caves and under decorations. Dwarf loaches are small and peaceful, and they tend to stay close to the bottom of the tank. Number 7, Cherry and Ghost Shrimp. Cherry shrimp are a fantastic addition to any betta tank. These tiny and colorful crustaceans add a splash of variety to your aquarium and can be a delight to watch as they scuttle around. Thankfully, they're also peaceful and won't bother your betta fish. These shrimp also help keep the water clear by picking up algae and leftover food waste. It's important to note that your betta may occasionally try to eat them. Therefore, be sure to provide plenty of hiding places and plants for the shrimp to take cover in. Ghost shrimp are another option for betta tank mates. These shrimp have translucent bodies, making them harder for your betta to spot. Like cherry shrimp, they also do a great job of keeping the tank clean by eating algae and waste. One thing to keep in mind with shrimp is that they tend to breed quickly. If you start with a small group of shrimp, you may find yourself with an abundance of them in just a few weeks. 
But this can be a positive thing if you have a market for them or want to sell them to other aquarium enthusiasts. Number 6. Harlequin Rasporas. Harlequin Rasporas are a popular choice for planted aquariums due to their distinctive appearance and peaceful temperament. This little fish stands out in any aquarium because it has a black triangle on its sides and a golden orange body. They prefer to live in schools of 5 to 6, making them an excellent choice for a community tank with betta fish. They are also very fast swimmers, so even if a betta were to become aggressive, the rasporas would be able to outswim them and avoid harm. In addition, larger schools of rasporas will require at least a 10-gallon tank to accommodate their activity. One potential downside to keeping harlequin rasporas with betta fish is that they swim in the same areas as the betta fish. This can be managed by providing plenty of hiding places and plants in the tank to give each fish its own space. Chili raspora is another fantastic option. These tiny fish feel right at home for small tanks and can live happily with a single bed of fish. However, it's important to note that chili rasporas are schooling fish and should always be kept in groups to prevent shyness and stress. A school of chili rasporas, along with your betta, can create a stunning display in a heavily planted nano tank. Make sure you're not making the same mistake as this guy who crammed too many fish in a small tank. If you're committed to providing your fish with the best possible home, show your support by hitting the like and subscribe buttons now. Number 5. Aquarium Snails Adding snails to your betta tank can be an excellent way to enhance your aquarium's aesthetics and cleanliness. Betta fish tanks can have a variety of snails. Mystery snails are docile and have tough shells to protect themselves from any curious or playful betta fish. They have a chill personality and help keep the tank clean by feeding on leftover food and algae. They can grow up to 2 inches in size and have an average lifespan of 1 year. Mystery snails are plant safe, making them a suitable option for a community tank with live plants. Zebra snails are another excellent option for betta tanks. These non-aggressive snails are easy to raise with not much maintenance. They help keep the tank clean by eating debris and do not pose a threat to your betta fish. Zebra snails can grow up to 1 inch in size and have a lifespan of around 2 years. Apple snails are relatively large and can grow up to 6 inches in diameter, but they are also very docile and peaceful creatures. They have an exceptional ability to consume large amounts of algae, which helps to keep the tank clean and healthy. Apple snails also come in a variety of colors, from yellow to blue to purple, which can add a beautiful pop of color to your tank. Nerite snails are much smaller, typically reaching only about 1 inch in size, and they come in a variety of colors and patterns as well. They are excellent algae eaters and can help to keep your tank clean and healthy. Nerite snails are also very hardy creatures and can tolerate a wide range of water conditions, which makes them an ideal choice for beginners. Snails are highly sensitive to copper, which is a common ingredient in some beta medications. If you need to medicate your betta, we recommend moving them to a separate hospital tank while leaving your snails in the main aquarium. Number 4. African Dwarf Frogs African dwarf frogs can be great tankmates for betta fish, as they typically coexist without any issues. They generally ignore each other's presence. African dwarf frogs are known for producing minimal waste, which can help prevent water parameters from becoming unbalanced. The main concern when keeping African dwarf frogs and betta fish together is feeding time. Betta fish are fast swimmers and tend to finish their food before the frogs have a chance to find their own. It's critical to keep an eye on the frogs during feeding time and ettsure they are getting their fair share of food. While bettas tend to eat anything they can, it's important to make sure your frog is getting adequate nutrition as well. Number 3. Guppy Fish Keeping guppy fish in a betta tank can be a suitable option as they are peaceful and non-aggressive fish. Guppies are also lie bearers, which means that they give birth to live young instead of laying eggs like some other fish species. This trait makes them a good option for adding some diversity to your betta tank. They are also relatively easy to care for, making them a great option for beginners. Guppies prefer a water temperature of around 75 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit and a pH level of 7.0 to 8.0. These conditions are similar to what betta fish require, so they can coexist comfortably in the same tank. One potential issue when keeping guppy in a betta tank is that bettas may mistake guppy fins for another betta's fins and become aggressive towards them. This can be avoided by choosing guppy breeds with shorter fins like feeder guppy or keeping both species in a large enough tank where they can establish their territories. 
I have compiled this list based on my experience on community tankfish for betta fish. I also believe there are different opinions. Please tell me your most and least favorite community tank fish options in the comments below. Number 2, Platyfish. Platyfish are lively and colorful live bearers that make great tank mates for betta. They are peaceful and won't nip at your betta's fins, making them an excellent choice for adding some movement to your tank. They are easy to care for, which makes them a good choice for beginners. They can live in a pretty wide range of pH levels, but they do prefer neutral to alkaline water conditions. Because they are related to mollies, they share many of the same traits. One of the great things about platyfish is that they are schooling fish with small tails, which means bettas tend to ignore them. This makes them an ideal companion for your betta fish, with small fins and tails that don't attract betta's attention. But platyfish swim at the same tank levels as bettas, which can create competition for space. Overall, if you're looking for a peaceful and colorful tank mate for your betta, a platyfish is a great option. Number 1, Otosynclus Catfish. Otosynclus Catfish could be a great option. They don't bother betta fish and also keep the tank clean. These small catfish grow to just 2 inches and have a big appetite for algae, making them the perfect algae eaters for mature aquariums. However, it's important to note that they should not be added to very small or new aquariums where there won't be enough food for them. Otos are peaceful fish and won't compete with your betta for food. They're perfect tank mates for many of the same reasons as quarry cats. They remain on the bottom of the tank, keeping the substrate clean, and travel in groups, making it harder for betta to bother them. However, otos do need plenty of plants to hide in and must be in groups, which can be challenging to accommodate in smaller tanks. There are also other community fish options to consider, such as bamboo shrimp, molly fish, amano shrimp, and minnows. No matter what fish you choose, you have to make sure they're relaxed and non-territorial. If they fight with your betta often, you'll need to remove them. It's crucial to ensure that you have the appropriate tank size when you are building a community fish tank. A general rule of thumb is that each inch of fish requires a gallon of water. It's important to figure out how many fish you're going to keep based on the size of your tank. Overall, you'll have plenty of options to build a stunning community tank where your betta fish can take center stage. Now, it's time for you to help me by subscribing. By subscribing to our channel, you'll get access to more helpful tips and information on maintaining a healthy and happy betta aquarium. Even though popular freshwater aquarium fish are typically suitable for community tanks, there are fish types that you should avoid in a community tank setup. This video will focus on several of the most commonly encountered freshwater aquarium bullies and provide tips on how to handle them peacefully in a community tank. Don't forget to check it out. Thank you for visiting our channel, where we post exciting videos about aquarium fish every week. If you are new to our channel, please consider subscribing and checking out the rest of our content. Happy fish keeping!